Hey guys, SSF here with debug mode. Yay, I think, maybe, not really, I don't know. Um, at least I'm on time with this, I mean, yay. So, that deserves a yay. But yeah, um, I do have an important announcement to discuss at the, uh, well not discuss per se, but like make at the end of the uh, video, so I'm just going to really blow through these um, topics, because again, there really isn't a whole lot going on. Um, yeah, from what I can tell, there really isn't a whole lot going on. Um, there's only one thing, maybe two, to really talk about. No, just one thing. Um, really, it, it's just a bill that apparently is being discussed at Utah that would make ESRB ratings legally binding. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is, I thought this was already in place. And two, if it wasn't in place, it should have been by now. I don't think this is this has much to do with the shooting. I don't even know why. We, there's a school shooting, and it's like everyone automatically assumes video games have to do with it. And it's like, no. But, nevertheless, still, school shoot, shootings or not, this is still a rule that should have been in place years ago. Um, kids shouldn't be getting games that are not for kids. AO and M games should be for people that are 18 and over, you know, or like 17 and older. That that should be their priority. Um, I mean, like that they should not be allowed to get those, receive those at all. Their, their parents can buy them for themselves, but not for their kids. Boy, that would make video gaming on like Call of Duty would become like 10, 15 times better. I think if the kids weren't, you know, kids weren't able to play those games. But um. That's just me, you know. I mean, they're kids, mature rated games. Yeah, except that's the thing, they're kids. They shouldn't be playing mature rated games. That's the problem. A six-year-old playing Call of Duty, really? You know, a 12-year-old playing Call of Duty, no. A 15-year-old playing Call of Duty. No one under 17 should be playing games like Call of Duty and any, anything mature, you know? This, has not, this isn't just shooting games as a whole. This actually should have been in place anyway. You know, school shootings are not. You know, why this wasn't considered before is beyond me. But I don't... That's just me, you know? Otherwise, this whole video game violence thing is just really shouldn't even be considered right now. This bill is really the only good thing that has come out of the whole discussion, to, in, in my opinion. But, um, in any case, as far as I know, there really isn't much else to talk about, so I'm just going to get to the big announcement. Um, in case, I'm sure you guys are already well aware that there's, you know, going to be a, um, well, actually, I don't think you... Well, if you guys have been following me on Twitter, you'd know there's going to be a uh, schedule change. Um, I have been able... Look for four episodes of Terraria. This coming Tuesday, and then the next Tuesday. Um, simply because I did manage to get Terraria done. Um, the main the main episodes of Terraria are done, so expect, you know, eight episodes of Terraria in the, coming, in the next two weeks. Next two Tuesdays. And then the Sonic Fan Stuff series is going to take over. So that's going to be one schedule change. The other schedule change has only been recently been considered because it, it, it occurred to me how, you know, well, I'll explain, but what you're watching right now is going to be the second to last episode of Debug Mode. Um, debug Mode, after next Friday, it's going to be canceled out. Why? Well, for one thing, it's not really fun to do anymore. It's like, I, I, I feel more like I just wanted to get through this whole thing and then move on. It's like, I don't feel like I'm really... Like, if you look closely, you notice that I haven't really been talking a whole lot and having fun doing all this stuff anymore. It's like, I'm, I'm wasting my time spent that could be spent on games instead on this, you know? 
and I don't want that. I want to make sure you guys do have game. So what I may do is instead uh, make this spot um, something for a different game. You know, I I don't know what I'm gonna put in this spot yet. It may even be just another like a, a day off. I don't know yet. But from what I can tell, um, debug mode is definitely not gonna continue after this month. So. I, I, I don't think you guys really cared about the bug mode anyway, so it's not like it's going to be a big difference, but I do want to make sure that, you know, it's like I said, it's going to be more games for you guys, so, I mean, who knows, I may bring this back in the future, but I really don't see the point in the bug mode, you know, it's just not really doing anything, um, it seems like with every episode, I'm, I am only talking about less and less, it's just... It's becoming more of more of a little chore than a task, and I when that happens, I don't want you know I'll feel like I'm not entertaining you guys, you know, to the full potential. So I I will be discontinuing the bug mode, maybe not infinitely, because like I said, there may be a chance it may come back in the future. But for now, I'm not gonna be doing the bug mode anymore after January end. So come February, you will be seeing you know. Sonic fan stuff series replacing Terraria since Terraria is going to be pretty much done. Hell, you know, the occasional episodes might even be put up on Friday. Who, you know, if there's any like episodes of Terraria from random multiplayer, single player antics, you know, I'll put, I might put those up on Friday. I, I don't know yet what I'm going to do. All I know is that Friday will not be debug mode anymore <clears throat> for a good while. I don't even know, like I said, when debug mode will return if it does return, but. You know, there's always that possibility, so... Um... Like I said, I don't know what's going to be in its place. You know, there could be a... You know, just an off day, you know? I may make that a, a spot for two more game playthroughs. I don't, I don't know yet. I don't think... I don't want to stretch it too much. I want to make sure to keep it at a minimum, so... What I may put in that place, in, in its place, could be something else. I, I, I just don't know yet. Um... That's the thing. Like I said, it may just be another off day. I don't know. Maybe I can make... I could shuffle things around and make Friday the day for the two playthroughs. And then... Actually, that's a good idea. You know, that's not actually a bad idea. Why didn't I think about that sooner? Um... Because then things would get kind of uneven, you know? So... You know, I think I may actually do that. Yeah. That's perfect, actually. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I will be taking these two, the two playthroughs a day and then migrate them over to Friday. Um, I'm not going to officially do the migration, though immediately because obviously I have to consider the 31st of January too and I want to make sure this whole thing takes place in February you know so it's easy to remember not just for me for for you guys so I think February 7th and 8th is when the schedule is going to completely like change over like um the week of February 3rd uh will be you know a complete I will, I will explain all this you know on the 30th, I th if I can uh, get the episode up, so I'll record another update video explaining the, the revised schedule. Another revised schedule. Hopefully, this is the last time I do this for a while, but um, anyway, this has become more and more of an update video than debug mode. See, if that doesn't prove why I'm t like, this has become more of an update video than debug mode. Go figure. If that if it doesn't prove enough as to why I'm ending it to begin with, so. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next week for the last episode of Debug Mode. For now, this is SSF signing out. Sayonara, guys. Sayonara for now. <laughs>